Welcome to Country Club Fragrance Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at a classic and that is Versace the Dreamer. So if you are a fan of some of the great Versace fragrances that have been released recently then this is a fragrance that you probably do not need to blind buy. So I read a lot of reviews on this fragrance and this seems to be a love-hate fragrance. Half the people seem to think this smells like grandma and the other half seem to think this is a fragrance masterpiece. So if you guys have tried this fragrance before, please let me know in the comments below what do you think about it. So if you ever take a look at this fragrance on Fragranica, you will see that there are two versions. You have the original version which came out in 1996 and then they also have a new reformulated version on their website that lists the release date as 2010. In addition to that, they both have completely separate note breakdowns. So if you take a look at the presentation, you will see that it has the iconic Medusa head on the front of the bottle. It does not have a cap. It's basically a built-in cap, and I'll be honest with you, it's really not the best sprayer that I have. This is a fairly cool looking bottle design. So when it comes to Versace fragrances, you're probably familiar with a lot of the newer releases such as Versace Dylan Blue, Eau Fraiche, and Eros and all of the flankers. Uh, I will tell you that the Dreamer is absolutely nothing like any of the new releases by Versace. This is a completely standalone fragrance and it smells nothing like any of the newer releases. So when I first spray this on, I get a very light citrus along with a lot of herbal and floral notes. After about 20 or 30 seconds, the scent starts to develop into a very heavy coumarin note. So if you're not familiar with coumarin, it is a hay-like scent with a little bit of vanilla mixed in. While that coumarin note is very heavy with a little bit of sweetness with the vanilla underneath, there is still a lot of lavender and herbal notes like sage and tarragon that also seem to be present. This definitely has an old school vibe to it and it is definitely not a modern smelling fragrance, at least to my nose. So once it dries down, it maintains that very heavy coumarin note with just a touch of vanilla underneath and it remains very herbal. So when I wear this fragrance, it has a very clean and soapy freshness to it. Overall, it's a very nice and unique smelling fragrance, but if you're, if you're not into fragrances from the 80s and 90s, this is probably something that you may not like because it just doesn't fit or match with any of the newer Versace fragrances. So for longevity and projection on this, I get projection that is not very strong out of this fragrance. It's probably a skin scent after about 30 or 45 minutes. It's a very light, fresh, and airy fragrance. It really just does not permeate or leave a very long scent trail. So for longevity on it, I get about probably four to six hours. The price on this is around $20. You can find it in rack stores like TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I almost always see this fragrance on the shelves there. Would I recommend this as a blind buy? Look, if you're walking through one of those stores and you have $20 burning a hole in your pocket and you're looking for a classic fragrance and you are into perfumery and you want to see how this scent develops and smells, yes, probably something that would interest you. If you're just looking to spend $20 on a great smelling fragrance, uh, this may or may not be for you especially if you are in the younger crowd. There seems to be a lot of love-hate with this fragrance in the community. A lot of compliments on this smells like grandma, this smells old, this smells outdated. And you can look at someone right next to that comment and they'll say that this is a masterpiece. This is one of those types of fragrances. All right, that's it as far as the review. If you enjoyed this type of content, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks.